What do I do today? Hi, pesto. Yes. There, you have a plant of bacon. This is not enough. It uh, grew up. This is a decent size to make a, a nice uh, pesto, let's say half a kilo of pasta. Then a mortar. After the mortar, a little bit of uh, pecorino romano. It's something like three times more of uh, parmigiano olive oil. A pinch, 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 A pinch of salt, garlic, to... How do you call them? Cloves. The pasta, we will see later how to cook properly a pasta. And that's not my real accent in English. I have, I have a really, really good accent. As a matter of fact, I'm not even Italian. I come from Texas, US. Very nice, very nice pasta. It's the Stranguglia Breviti. Eh? Eh? Il, il, il pesto normally is done with the trophie. Penne is okay. But also spaghetti. Don't spaghetti to too stuck thinking uh, what uh, should I... What are we missing? Very important ingredient. Uh, some people do it without, uh, but uh, for the texture is uh, really important. Fine seeds. But let's get going. We go and wash the basin. You need to be delicate. If you are not delicate, uh, then they will lose some flavor. It will not be a good pesto. Anymore. Okay, this is enough. What plate? Plate? Why? Who am I talking to? My inner voice suggested me to take a plate because otherwise, what the water will come down. Your workstation clean. Fuck! We forgot! You have uh, two more minutes of me preparing the leaves. Hope you don't mind. Did I already say where the word pesto comes from? Because uh, I know that uh, people, when they hear Italian words, they always think, oh my god, it's so lovely. But pesto actually just means beaten. Right? Pe pesto. Like when you, when you pest someone, you beat someone. And this is because pesto is a delicate flavor, but it's not a, a delicate action. I think we are, right? No. I will just... Uh, and dress the garlic. We will use two cloves. If you go out, maybe you want to put less, or maybe you want to put more. If the garlic is almost naked. What? <laughs> Guys, come on. Let's not be childish. Station clean. There is one thing that it, it, uh, you're not you're supposed to dry the leaves of the basil, otherwise you will get water in the pesto. But uh, who has time? We are ready to start making. I would ask my camera to get closer. Uh, <laughs> okay, now a little bit. I will try to show you as close as I can how a pesto happens, right? Because the pesto is something that it's not there and then it's there. It, it, uh. um, let's rimbocchiarsi, uh, let's, let's sleeves, rimboccarci le maniche. How cool, how cool this gesture. So classy every time. There are different schools. How to, where, where to, where to, how to start the best from. Someone says from the salt, big salt. Show it big, it's better. We go break the leaves of the basil. It will vanish then when you paste it. Some people start from the salt, some from the pine seeds, some from the basil directly. But uh, there is uh, one thing they all agree on, and that's uh, that uh, you have to start. That's too much. The salt I put here is too much. Just put a little, little bit. What do you do? You start breaking the salt no one garlic yeah a little bit of pine seeds yeah go around so it's at this point i actually don't right i should have checked the recipe before starting. <laughs> <laughs> the second clove of garlic so salt we keep going with salt maybe that's too much more pine seeds the more pine seeds the better can keep a little few of them to sprinkle on the dish when it's ready a little, just a little bit of the oil look, look at this 
Oh my god, just, just look at it. The beauty of Italian cuisine is just making great things. Great! Now, a little bit of color. Throw in a little bit. Small amount. Be patient. Do you know where the pesto comes from? Write it in the comments. The pesto comes from uh, Genova. Pine seeds. To not worry, you can do it with the cashew nuts as well. Don't be too orthodox. Just make things work. <sighs> we are not going anywhere here. Look how beautiful the leaves disappear. <laughs> look, look, please look at the look at look at it's a white white pesto, eh? Maybe maybe too much garlic. So much garlic. Let's briefly review the quantities for this rest. Definitely put one garlic, not two garlic. Porca vacca, it's really for me. <laughs> too much garlic, guys. Guys, the, if you're watching this video, stop now and change video. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, now it's going alone. It's out of control. We have to stop this machine. We have to stop it now. And salty, so salty, too salty, my god. So salty, we keep going with salt, maybe that's too much. The shit, it's uh, ah, ugh. too salty, too salty, freaking salty. We will fix all this. We will go all in. In the kitchen, it's never too late to correct the mistakes you do. Making mistakes is, is alright, happens to everyone. Just find out the right way to, to fix what you did, to put life back on track. To say sorry to the people you always want to say sorry. To. Now it's time to go in with the cheeses. Quite a lot of parmesan cheese. And un poquito de pecorino romano. Also, when you do mistakes, you can fix them. Or you can just cover them with some light. You can just, for example, say that this is an autumn basil, so the leaves have a lighter tone of green. And also, I have to say, it's really looking good. Come on, guys, eh? Forgive me the green, forgive me too much salt, forgive me too much garlic, forgive me. Besides that, it's looking really good. Cheese, more... You should do one thing at home. Take the pesto that uh, you buy in the supermarket, make this thing at home, then put them one next to the other, look at them, smell them, try them. We're gonna make my camera try this pesto. And you at home as well. Just, just get closer to the screen. Get closer to the screen and just lick it. Shitty. Oh, shitty. Be ready with your pest. You don't want to leave it out in the air too much. For the pasta, a nice spot, but leave space for the pasta. When you have the water boiling, that's the point where it gets controversial. And I want to show you how pasta is cooked in Italy by Italians. Put a little bit of salt, that's for a whole pot. What does it mean, a whole pot? Just go, salt. How much to put? This part is very important. Many theories in this. You don't want your pasta to stick, right? We all know the feeling. You put the pasta in the water and it sticks. Does it? I don't know, never happens to me. Just a little bit. Okay. If you want your pasta to not stick, steer. Steer right away. The first moments are the most delicate ones. If you forget to steer, all the pasta will get coupled all together like a mappazone. 10, 12 minutes. Oh my god, this is so, so difficult to make. It's a Russian. It's important that you put salt in the water. It's important that every once in a while you steer the pasta in the water. Very important. I still don't know if I'm Russian or, or if I'm Indian. I'm Russian. I'm Russian from New Delhi. This is a disaster. I'm not paying attention. Can we still make it now? Probably not. I will do it. It's crazy, yeah? But I will do it. Did you see this? It was going to be the highlight of the video in my mind. In Liguria, the region of Genova, they are actually putting potatoes in the pasta. Potatoes, if you cook them all along together with the pasta, in the end they will be a little bit... Ah, but let's talk! Eh, yeah, I forgot things. I wanted to talk to you about what pasta to use. Stranguglia preti. Literally, to choke the priest. Similar to the strozza preti, literally means the same thing, it's a slightly different part. Oh. I'm not a good cook. I 
thought I was a good cook. E strozzapeti, garganelli, caserecce, imparrettati, maccheroncini. You can use whatever you feel like using. Because it's always up to you. There are no rules. We're gonna eat uh, beautiful but uh, bad. What do you say? Is it ready? Please vote. If you write in the comment yes, I will try it right away. If you want me to wait, I will wait one, two more minutes. We are ready. It's time to, to dry the pasta. Drain. Dra drain the pasta from Russia. Okay, look, it's amazing. What happened here? Why are these two together? What? Now, you know, it's because you didn't put the oil in the water. Look, show to my people what happened here with different green. It gets oxidated. Now, it looks even beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Oxidation guys! Don't let it oxidate. Hide it. Hide the dust under the carpet. This is always the best thing to do in life. Looking so beautiful. And we're not gonna make prisoners. Only in real pesto pasta. It looks lovely. It looks amazing. It looks real. Pesto.